On the heels of the unrest in Brooklyn Center last week, leaders of Operation Safety Net say they've learned a lot and as far as how to move forward. And much of that means working side by side with community leaders. Last week is being called a crisis. This week is phase three of Operation Safety Net, a plan that will play out with a few changes. We've listened to community. We've listened to activists. We've listened to elected officials. In Brooklyn Center, the nights were unpredictable, often dangerous for law enforcement and for protesters. But on the fifth night, an obvious change in strategy, de-escalation. They pulled back, something Operation Safety Net says they will work to do again this week. The one thing that I think that can be so critical, and it's simple, and it's a value statement, it's de-escalation. Mm -hmm. yeah. We all need to relax. Law enforcement, citizens, everyone, we need to relax in this moment to get through this week. The dynamics, though, are different. The Brooklyn Center unrest was focused primarily in the street in front of the police department. Minneapolis could see more widespread problems like it did last summer. But police have asked for help from the community leaders. Not just tonight and not just tomorrow, but for our future, we need help. And now they're standing side by side, all of them asking for peace. We stand with law enforcement to make sure that as we have accountability, transformation, consequences, and reform with law enforcement, we expect the same from our community. Police saying we need to get through this together. In a hopeful city and community, and we will keep moving forward. This is our community. And as King said, let's keep it a beloved community. Now, in addition to local law enforcement, of course, the National Guard is here, along with state patrol from Nebraska and Ohio, all here to help. And we're told they will all be on the same page in terms of how to respond to protesters and how to respond to journalists. We're told journalists will not be detained, not be arrested, and not be told to disperse. We will all be allowed to be there to record exactly what's going on. We're live in Minneapolis. Karen Scullin, Fox 9.